Too often these days we hear about the need to budget and to stop spending money. In this video instead of lecturing you on how to save cents, I'll be sharing how you can save dollars without needing to stop spending money on the things that you enjoy. Make sure you watch this video right to the end as I'll be sharing lots of great resources on how to save on food, travel, shopping, gym memberships and the usual boring stuff like utilities and mobile plans. If you like this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more content just like this in the personal finance and investing space. Let's get into it. Food, it's something we all need. And as we all know, it's damn expensive to eat, not just outside at restaurants, but also at home as the price of everyday goods has exploded in recent months. Many of us enjoy the occasional meal at a restaurant, whether that be to celebrate a special occasion or just as a weekly event. The first way to live large for less in New Zealand is by using a website called First Table, which allows you to dine for half price at a collection of restaurants up and down the country. The way it works is on their website, you can select the day you wish to dine, the region you wish to dine, such as Auckland, and the type of meal, whether that be breakfast, lunch or dinner. From there you'll be shown a list of available restaurants and their availability over a weekly period, available for you to place a reservation. To do so, you'll need to register at their website and pay a $10 charge to place the reservation, which when split around a group equates to a very small amount, relative to the savings you're likely to get. I personally use this app all the time, and as the food is half price, I always end up ordering way too much. Among my favourite restaurants on the website includes Gusto Italian in Ponsonby for wood-fired pizzas and Fariza's in Winyard Quarter for great Turkish food. Now I know many of you will be feeling bad for paying a lower price at some of these restaurants. Just know that restaurants benefit by you just being there. Firstly, the reservation times are off-peak so as to not take capacity away from full paying customers. Secondly, most people like to buy drinks, which are excluded from the half price promotion. And lastly, it is probably better for the restaurant to be busy than empty, to attract bypassers looking for a place to dine. In addition to restaurant meals, lunch meals in some of our largest cities can also be found at steep discounts by using the app Foodprint, which is currently available in Auckland, Hamilton and Wellington. Foodprint allows cafes and lunch spots to list items on their app that usually have a shelf life, often at discounts as steep as 80%. In the Auckland CBD, you can find a number of different items, such as cakes from Bluebell's Cakery and pastries from various Malba cafes in the city. This can save you a lot of money on your meals in the city, so make sure you search for Foodprint on the Apple and Android app stores. Now, moving completely on from food, let's talk about electronics and household goods. Some of the main retailers in the space include PB Tech, Harvey Norman, Noel Leeming, among many others. However, often they charge prices for items that are much cheaper elsewhere. And that's where our third way to live large for less comes in. And that's a website called Price Buy. Here you'll be able to search for a wide array of items and get a good idea of where you can usually find a cheaper price. Generally this will be at smaller stores, however you can use their pricing to negotiate a cheaper price at many of the larger retailers such as those mentioned earlier through what's called a price match promise. I do this every time I have to buy something and have saved literally hundreds on everything from Apple AirPods, a Logitech mouse to a computer chair. Literally hundreds every time and haven't failed yet. As an example, let's look at a pair of AirPods Pro. Noel Lehman currently sell this in their store for $449. However, when we look on Price Buy, we can see that Mobile Station, another store in Auckland, sells the same item for $110 cheaper than this. If we go back to Noel Lehman's website, we can see they have a price promise. We can simply message them on their live chat during business hours, and within a matter of minutes, they'll let us know whether they're willing to drop their price. Without a doubt, this is one of the best hacks and can be done in a matter of minutes from most nationwide stores. The fourth way to live large for less is by signing up for a gym membership through Exercise New Zealand, which subsidises over 200 gyms across the country by 40 to 70%, even for the fancy ones like Les Mills. The only catch with this one is you kind of been a part of a gym in the past 12 months, as the intention behind the offering is that it encourages new people to take up exercise. Another great thing about this offering is that the terms vary from 3 months all the way up to 12, so you generally will have more flexibility in the term of your plan than if you went directly to the gym yourself to sign up. If you're interested in this, make sure you go to www.exercise.org.nz. The fifth way to live large for less, many of you will already probably know, and that is BookMe. This website allows you to purchase heavily discounted attractions, not only in New Zealand, but also in Australia and Fiji too. The attractions included on their website are wide ranging, and I've personally used it to do go-karting in Queenstown, strawberry picking in Auckland, and on a yacht cruise in Taupo. This can be a great way to do more for less, not only in New Zealand, but also further abroad when you're on holiday. And all this talk of travel brings me on to the sixth way to live more for less, and that is by using Skyscanner and Google Flights. 
When I was living in Spain and Singapore, I used both of these websites a lot to find cheap flights and have alerts set up to quickly pounce on any good deals. I generally have my alerts set up with Skyscanner, and if I am looking to travel I use a combination of the two, depending on the type of flight. I find Google Flights is best if you're unsure where you want to go, and want to view the different destinations on a world map to compare prices. For example, you may want to fly to Europe, but you don't really mind where, and Google Flights can easily show you where it will be cheapest to land. On the other hand there's Skyscanner, which I use use if I am more targeted, and the website makes it really easy to play around with the dates on their calendar view to find the best value options. One thing to note with these websites however is that they commonly show pricing from fly-by-night online agencies such as eDreams and Kiwi.com. As such, always cross-reference the prices shown with those on the official airline websites as it may be worth paying slightly more to avoid having issues down the track. The seventh way to live more for less is by using PowerSwitch and Glimp to assess whether you're with the best provider for your power and broadband internet connections. PowerSwitch is a free comparison tool provided by ConsumerNZ, and by putting in your address and some high level information about your property, allows you to compare all of your options for a power provider and provide an estimated annual charge. Glimp is similar in that it amalgamates all the current prices in the market for broadband internet, allowing you to find the best price for your needs. The eighth and final way to live more for less is by looking at Kogan Mobile Mobile, which is a new entrant in the mobile market in New Zealand. In the past few months they've run a couple half price promotions for their mobile plans. I signed up for a 12 month plan giving me 15 gigabytes of data every month for just $165 or just over $13 a month. Previously I was with 2 degrees paying 3 times the price for one third the data. Needless to say this was a super cheap deal, even at normal prices, for the amount of data received. Kogan used the Vodafone network nationwide, so effectively you're paying a fraction of the price to use Vodafone's network, which isn't bad at all. So I hope you enjoyed the video and identified at least one way that you can live larger for less in New Zealand. It isn't easy getting by these days with the price of nearly everything rising, so I hope I shed light on ways that you too can make it through these times without sacrificing the things you enjoy. If you did enjoy this video please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any other tips for others watching this video on how they too can live large for less. Take care and I'll look forward to catching you on the next one. Cheers.